Hey there, everybody. Thanks for joining me. You know, I thought I'd share with you my mistakes and what I'd do better with my pom-pom frame next time. It's a pom-pom loom. It's what you use to make pom-pom um, blankets for babies on. Now, it's quite quick to knock up. It's four pieces of timber that need to be secured together. I've used angle brackets here. And it's not really any big deal carpentry wise. I used a saw, just a hand saw, and I used nails, hammer, and a screwdriver. So it is no big deal. It's not pretty. I'm sure if you had some power tools, you could do a much better job than I did there. But let me just show you a few of the things I feel is right and what is wrong. Now, I like that I made it out of a much sturdier, thicker wood. Now this wood is da, 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 three and three quarter inches, approximately, nearly four inches because it's, it's beveled here. That's also nice too. And let's see how long it is. So, so we can do this. Oops, a daisy, one handed. You've got to be clever here to do this. Right, it is. Do you know what? This is nearly impossible. There we go. It's 25 inches long on the short side. And it is. Da, da, da. Let's see what we can do here. It is 35, 36 nearly inches on the long side. Now I used nails at a gap of one and a half inches. If you're in centimeters, there you go, look. Um, and I just hammered in long nails. Now that's one of my mistakes. The nails are not long enough to get enough thickness of wool on. They're only in one, only one inch-ish sticking up. I wouldn't use four inch nails sticking up. So we need this to be do quite a lot longer sticking up. So you need some big nails in there. Now that's where my other thinking is coming in. How about drilling holes and using measured lengths of um, doweling? Because doweling's gonna be you can pull it out, you can put it back in, you, you can round the edges, you can make it really nice and then you can flat pack it and not keep knocking your toes on these nasty nails that I keep knocking myself on or I've ripped jumpers on or I've pulled my feet on and gone ow. So I think holes, pre-measured doweling that's easy to do, you can do that yourself with a little saw, put them in. Now what else shall I tell you? Let me just go get the pom-pom blanket. This was my first pom-pom blanket. I used four ply wool. There was my first mistake. I should have used double knitting. I did loads of rounds, but not enough. So I can't remember how many I did, maybe 20. I think it's more like 50 you're supposed to do, even with double knitting. So that would have been a really, really tight pom-pom. I'm not 100% convinced that this is big baby safe. I think very newborns, but they still might get their fingers trapped in that. So think about that. And also where you're knotting it, that too, those knots should be secure. But just think about that for the babies. So maybe a newborn baby just draped over their car seat. Excellent idea. But one that starts fiddling and chewing. Mm, I know what my babies were like, but you make your decisions. So there's my ideas. I love the wide wood. I like the idea of drilling holes and putting in um, dowling wood or even pegs. I considered pegs. You know the old fashioned pegs that are like dolly pegs? You can push those in. They've got a slot up the middle so they can be quite a bit tighter when you push them into the pre-drilled hole. They've got a nice rounded top on. It looks pretty and they're cheap and they're already made. So there you go. I will be making my own design with a few design features in, which I haven't mentioned here, of these on my husband's power tools. He let me in the shed. Hmm. And they will be for sale in my Etsy store in the future. Uh, this one's going to a new home. There's a lady I've just met. She's um, very crafty, as in crafts, not crafty crafty. And uh, she's going to go have an operation shortly. So I said, right, I'm going to give her my old board 
so she can see whether she likes the idea. So after her operation, I'm going to think about her having a go on the pom-pom loom and um, hopefully she'll get well soon. And um, I'll leave that with you there. I think I think that's enough to think about. The wood is good, the, the, the extra idea of not using nails and the thick thick wool remember that thank you so much for watching please like please subscribe and if you really feel like it make a comment so i know you're there because i'm just getting into this um youtube channeling now i realize there's more of you watching than i thought and it's time for me to do a good job of it so please comment and let me know you're there thanks for watching Ta -da!